angry guy here and the US government is coming after passport bros. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, please help, help get the channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already have it, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Now let's begin. The U.S. government is coming after Passport Bros. Let's just go ahead and jump right into this video. I think it's pretty interesting. Joe SRP2, welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chisha Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. I just saw this article recently and I've heard like bits and pieces about this particular story, but it says eight passport bros deleted in Colombia in the past three months. Insane. Insane. Check this out. Now, after this article was released about those passport bros making their way down to Colombia and getting <clears throat> the United States had to put out a travel advisory to these dusties. OK, a little travel advisory to these dusties to not go and meet strangers in foreign countries on dating app. So obviously we've got a hater here who's hating on the Passport Bros movement. Now, guys, I don't know much like the, the, I don't keep up with what's go, what's happening with the Passport Bros in specific. But, you know, I encourage men to seek opportunities where they think will best serve them. But she's hating. Shout out to Sandra Rose, this blog that put out this article because it's an amazing read. So they state in the article, a growing number of men are traveling to foreign countries to meet submissive women who are less expensive and not too demanding. The term you guys know as passport bros first appeared on TikTok and it references men who use dating apps to hook up with women in other countries. It states below that authorities say that at least 25 passport bros were unalive in Medellin, Colombia in 2023. Is that true? Because if that's true, that's crazy. Uh, don't make me bring up Miss Coffee over here, our AI barista. I might just need some confirmation about that, but we'll see. Let's keep listening. Three and four Americans were Medellin in November alone. Now, Owens, a 59 year old passport bro, was gunned down, robbed, and taken for his watch and gold chain. And then his family had to receive his body two weeks later in Chattanooga, Tennessee. The U.S. State Department helped the family out to cut through the red tape to bring his remains home. You guys have to understand that's not what the State Department is for, but that is what the State Department will do. Now, you can pause this to read the rest of these horror stories, including Johnny Jerome and Philip Mullins. Now, again, the U.S. State Department is issuing a warning to avoid using dating apps to meet women in foreign countries because you could otherwise get yourself it's crazy the state department has to do this it's a waste of tax dollars to have to warn people to not do this <laughs> talking about a waste of tax dollars but again there's the warning anyways at least we can raise awareness about what's happening over there i think there's there is a part of the passport bros movement where you know it's the guys who go out and they're actually looking to live out in these foreign countries, learn the language, and seriously navigate the area. Then there's the people who are out there just to while out, have a good time, party, whatever it may be. And I think those people are definitely more at risk because they're less calculated. Now, I don't know. I've never ventured off on like some Passport Bros expedition, but that's not what I want to talk about. In all honesty, man, it's good that I'm raising awareness on this specific topic but did you guys see that photo in the background wow check out these ai photos that i seems like i missed these when they first came out look at this guy over tell me this is not the funniest thing you've ever seen in your life they've got the overweight women there <laughs> grabbing the man in the suit with the crown here we've got <laughs> the western women grabbing onto him as he's boarding the plane, running away from the modern woman. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Here's more. All right, this is uh, this is AI generated photos of layers. I thought they were new. Turns out they were on Twitter a while back. I think this was the funniest. We've got another one here. Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. Hilarious. And then this last one right here, this last one right here with the, with the, with the two plus size women. I don't think this is, a, is this, is this, I'll let you guys decide what that is. Whoever made this deserves some type of reward. And this is all everybody was talking about in the comment section of her video. 
you know, guys, it's so hilarious. Like, seriously, these password kings are clapping back. Modern women are so furious and so enraged that these men are traveling overseas, finding finding happiness, success, that they are celebrating whenever they hear that there are some men who, you know, end up being deleted. And to be very clear, when men set out on their journey, when men begin traveling to new places and seeking out new opportunities, these are things that happen. There are going to be people who, you know, not everyone's going to make it. Some people are going to be lost along the way. This is how the, the, the world actually works. The world around us is not this, in, in this very safe place. You know, the, it's, it's, it's very sad what happened to those men, but those men are pioneers. Those men won't be forgotten, and their sacrifices will actually help other men because it will teach other men what not to do, and it will actually help other men to thrive and survive where they failed. It's the truth. It's the honest-to-goodness truth. Modern women, they want everything handed to them. They think that the world exists to serve them, and they are in for a rude awakening. As things become much more difficult, I mean, these are the, these are the same women that are that are on the internet crying about inflation, they, that they can't even buy a handful of things anymore, spending crazy amounts of money for just very very basic stuff, you know. And it's it's crazy because they have these attitudes, they have these terrible attitudes, but they don't realize that nothing lasts forever. You know, guys, back in, was it 1918, what, somewhere around there, or 1920, there was, a, there was something that happened very similar to what happened back in 2020. Almost 100 years to the date, almost 100 years to the date, you know, something else happened. And we know that, you know, we, the, the Great Depression, you know, when the stock markets collapsed, that was back in 1929. And the Great Depression lasted roughly around 10 years. And it was those were 10 hard years. Like you literally had stories of women singing in clubs for a bag of potatoes, and they were grateful for those potatoes. And you have to understand that that's where in ho hobo culture really became a thing. You know, these men were basically traveling all around the world. And, you know, while a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of, while a lot of people speak poorly of hobos, you know, a lot of those hobos, they would never have traded those experiences for anything else because those men really enjoyed themselves. You know, they learned how to survive on very, very little. That's something modern women cannot do. They're so used to the Kardashian culture. They're so used to living these privileged lives. They believe that they should have a cook, someone to come and cook for them and clean for them. And if you're, you're not a real man, if you cannot provide a cook and a cleaning lady and it's hilarious because as things are collapsing around them and as they can't survive anymore, as they're headed off to their Ted cities, you know, they're going to be there saying, why couldn't men be better people and better human beings? Because they are, they're so lost in delusion, believing that the world owes them something and that they are supposed to be worshipped. Like they literally say that, you know, a woman should find a man who treats her like his favorite female celebrity. But again, I'll say this, if you treat her like a celebrity, she will treat you like a fan. They think they're supposed to be worshipped and kept on a pedestal. They think that they are wonderful and perfect and and all and it's because of the Sims. And I've already told you guys, the forever Sims will never change. They will never change. And these women in their desperation, many of them will quickly run over to only fools and lonely fans. And on these platforms, you know, these, they're they're gonna basically sell it, you know, give it all up, give it, give give everything they have for nine ninety nine a month, and they're gonna find it very difficult because once they go on these platforms, that's it. There's really no coming back. Once you've sold yourself on one of these platforms, it's basically like selling yourself to the devil. It's like making a deal with the devil. It, you know, it stays with you. It just it it affects you for the rest of your life. And most modern women, they haven't really thought things true through. But they're going, they're going to see how it is. They mess around and they're going to find out. But when it happens, when it comes and they have to really deal with that reality, 
they're not going to be able to deal with reality because women don't want to face reality because women don't ever want to face the truth. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, help get the channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already have it and liking the video and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Black women are celebrating the passing of passport bros. What do you think regarding this? I want to know your thoughts. So let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA. Been walking away and cheers.